All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm on the back nine now here at Sarah Bay Country Club in Sarasota, Florida. This is a practice round for the inaugural Florida Hickory Open, which is organized by the Florida State Golf Association. Just a reminder, this course was designed in 1925 by Donald Ross and opened in 1926 as the Whitfield Estates Country Club. Not long after it opened, Bobby Jones took on Walter Hagen in a match play event called the Match of the Century. The first 36 holes of the 72 hole event were played here. So here's what's in the bag, sponsored by Stewart and Jacoby. For this round, I'm using my two Louisville Golf replica woods, five authentic irons, and my trusty Tom Stewart RTJ putter. And my ball today is a Wilson Staff Zip with an antique mesh pattern. Here's a scorecard for the back nine. We're playing from the gold tees uh, mostly, so it's about 5,800 yards total. Here's number 10, par four, 377 yards, very similar to the first hole. Uh, one of my two playing partners here, Peter Harrington, kicks things off with a pretty nice drive down the middle of the fairway. Trying to follow suit here with the Hagen splice neck from Louisville Golf and pretty happy with that tee shot as well. So from the middle of the fairway here, figured I had a good lie to use the 21 degree Jack White spoon from Louisville Golf. Pretty good contact there, but pushed it a little bit right and ended up finding that big bunker on the right side of the green. So I mentioned in the front nine that I was having trouble with uh, wide open bunker shots, but those right up against the lip, I was feeling pretty comfortable with. I'm using my Croydon Spade Mashie. It's about 46 degrees. For these shots, all I really have to do is drive the club behind the ball to pop it out. And that's pretty much what happened there, but I got unlucky here at the end, and the ball rolled off the green. There's my other playing partner, Dr. Howard Van Nostren. He's playing his very first round with hickory clubs here. Watch the front nine to, to hear more about his story. So that putt scooted past the hole here, and uh, I mentioned on the front nine that these greens are crowned and running about 13 degrees on the stint meter, so they were quick, and... Uh, some of these pin placements were a little tricky too, but it, I thought it was a good challenge overall. So here's number 11, par four, 338 yards. Teeing off again here with the Walter Hagen splice neck. And I was pretty satisfied with the contact there, but I came over the top on that quite a bit and pushed it right. So having a little bit of tree trouble here with my shot back into the fairway, but I'm using my mashie put the ball up in my stance a little bit so that I could pop it up and was fortunately able to do just that. So from the front of the green here, a chip shot that I've been very comfortable with with my mashie. I had quite a few of these on the front nine that were close and that was another one that almost went in. Peter with a nice putt there. Yeah, it would have been nice if that one had dropped. Okay, so number 12 is a par four, short par four, 304 yards, but it's got a tricky approach with that creek right in front of the green. There's a nice tee shot from Howard. No shoes like Sam Sneed. Helps him uh, keep from over swinging. Probably something I should consider because that's one of my biggest problems. But that was a pretty good swing right there. Right in the middle. Peter trying to make it three for three for us off the tee. And he does. Very nice, too. nice draw on that one. To get in the middle. So here I am uh, using the mashie. Um, it's a good distance for me. I'm real comfortable with this distance and with this club. But just you know, kind of tried to saw off my shot a little bit and ended up pulling that one into the bunker. So using the Croydon Spade Mashie and actually got that to do exactly what I envisioned. I'm getting a lot more confident with the bunker shots using the Croydon Spade Mashie. And this for par, and I drop it. 
Feeling real good now going into 13. Par 3, 169 yards. It's a pretty good poke for us with the hickory clubs. Howard went with a spoon here. He's using a tad more replica set that he rented for the event. I went with my Otto Hackbarth Tom Stewart 2 iron, but the camera cut out right before my shot. This is where it ended up. You know, short of the green, but I'm in a very comfortable position here using the mashie for this chip. And this is pretty much how you had to play these crown greens. You had to bounce it in front or into the hill and then let it trickle up. And that's what I did here for another par, two in a row. All right, trying to keep the momentum going into 14, par four, 338 yards. Landing area is choked a bit by bunkers on either side of the fairway. I decided that it didn't matter, uh, and I ended up going far right of both of those bunkers. So I'm working out of the rough here in between a few trees. Really trying not to hit it into that large bunker on the right side, <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. So I'm on the surface of the moon here using the mashie to try to pop this up onto the green and pretty much, you know, did what I was trying to do to get out of the bunker. But again, if you don't give yourself some room to roll out on these greens, you're just going to run the ball right through the green. And that's what happened here. So I had a, a dicey lie to try to chip out of. Got an unfortunate break there. Uh, but again, comfortable chip here. Got pretty lucky with this one that it didn't run past again. You know, had a real nice approach putt here that just didn't find the bottom of the cup, but a good effort nonetheless. That one kind of tricked me. I did not see that little subtle break to the left there. Here's a nice putt from Howard. Very nice. Number 15 is another par four, 356 yards. Has a creek though at a really tough spot off the tee here. So you gotta be careful with your tee shot. Don't wanna hit it too far, obviously. I tried to put a nice easy swing on this one, but ended up coming over the top and slicing this into some trees. Uh, this is also where my camera decided not to work. So. I didn't get the shot out of the trees back into the fairway, uh, but did get the next shot. And that was with my Tom Stewart uh, two iron. I was trying to get this up to the green, but I uh, ended up hitting it fat. And then this shot got cut off by the camera as well. Um, so this still shot shows you where I ended up. And uh, after a chip and two putts, I was wrapped up with that hole. So now 16 back to normal action here, par 363 yards using the mashie off the tee and basically just trying to get it in front of the green. I know I'm not going to reach the green with this club, but I thought I might have a shot at getting it in front of the green. Ended up pushing it right, but got lucky that I didn't get into those bunkers. Here's Howard using one of his Tad Moore replica clubs in a single plane swing and pretty good result there. Good shot. First time I ever used this club. So working from behind the bunkers, trying real hard not to hit this into the bunker, but didn't give myself enough room for that rollout and ended up going well past the hole and off the green. Here's a nice sand save from Peter. This is how far off the green that rolled, but I was really happy with this chip back up to the green. By this point in the round, I was feeling pretty comfortable with how to approach these elevated crown greens. Not too often that I crack the code on a golf course, but I felt like I had here. Too bad I couldn't get those four putts to drop. All right, so 17, par five, 418 yards. It's the first of two par fives to close out the round. It was good tempo on that swing, but still had a tendency here toward the uh, end of the round to come over the top. So I ended up pushing that one right into the trees. Got pretty lucky that that ball squeezed through back into the fairway. Thank you. Just using my mashie on this approach, but again, pulled it left. 
and found a bunker up there. Well, gonna get to see what the bunkers are like. That was just a bad effort. Try to use a more conventional modern sand save there and uh, that just doesn't work with these clubs for me. So that was pretty thick rough right outside of the bunker there. But this is my go-to shot. Ran that one a little too far. But I'm feeling pretty confident with my putting here. See the break on this one and drain it. So, heading home, number 18, par 5, 431 yards. Dog legs right a little bit and has a creek that you have to navigate toward the front of the green. Fairway's pretty wide though, but you got OB on the left there to watch out for. Fortunately, this ball went straight. Using the Jack White Spoon here, which I'd hit pretty well, actually, in this round so far. Good contact, but pushed it right. And ended up right underneath a tree. But my Tom Stewart Auto Hackbarth 2 Iron is my club of choice for this shot, because I can kind of keep it low and punch it through. And this one ran over the green and over the back. So from the back of the green, using my putter to chip back up. But I'm being real careful here not to give this too much because the green slopes back to front. A little too tentative on that one, though. Came up short. I'll take this moment to thank the Florida State Golf Association for putting on such a great event. To the best of my knowledge, FSGA is the only state golf association that has added Hickory Golf to its normal schedule of events. So it's a very cool development that's going on down in Florida, and I definitely recommend you check out next year's event and uh, the other hickory events that they have uh, not only through the fsga but through the florida hickory golfers and you'll find the link to them in the description so as i wrap up this round I want to thank you for watching and if you haven't yet use the promo code hickory hacker 21 to get 10 percent off any purchase at stewardandjacoby.com including the golf bag that i use and some other accessories i'll be back next week with another course vlog in the meantime, check out my course vlogs of Donald Ross courses in the upper right, and then the lower right, my Hickory Golf Club repair videos. As always, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.